on his own. I had a double heart transplant and in between the two hearts I had a heart attack, a stroke, and I went eight minutes without oxygen to my brain. The heart I have now, which I've had May 15th, it will be 20 years. Well, before I moved here, I was actually in HE Double Hockey Sticks on Earth. I was stuck up in Salem in a nursing home. Here, and of course, at Hope House, you know, when we have enough staff, or if you know they can arrange it, you know, um, I can I can go to a premiere of a movie with my friends, and you know, I don't have to worry about making sure I get back in a certain time. You know, I do a lot more stuff because I have a lot more you know, freedom to do what I want to do. Hope House is all about acceptance. Hope House is about, um, you know, everybody's on an equal playing field. Hope House means a lot to me because they've been able to give me more freedom than I had. She lives pretty much independently. We assist her with um, all kinds of daily living tasks, things like that. Fun stuff. Um, Christina's blossomed, I would say, in the last four years that she's been here. At this team, we support 11 individuals. Um, everybody has a different array of disabilities. So we provide all kinds of services to people here. Um, everything from, you know, helping people have choice in daily living, assisting them with anything that you would do in your house, to down to the, the fun stuff, um, the medical stuff. We assist people with paying their bills, with going to the doctor. I went up to the kickball and ran too many times because I did it like three or four times. I can go to the mall or I can go to the gym or I can do, I can do fun stuff. The donors do care about the people we support and that they have embraced us in the community. I would like to thank them for everything they do to help the people who work at Hope House and the people who live at Hope House.